Greetings, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. The Elite Four Challenge continues as we progress past Bruno to the third... Uh, third opponent, that's the one. Agatha, mistress of ghost types. Scary. And also kind of has a thing for Oak for some strange reason. Well, let's take her down. Now, ghost types, as we all know, love their confusion. Oh, they love the confuser, eh? But because there are only three ghost types in this game, and they all share the same evolutionary line, she also has two poison types to fill up the space. But I've led with Cerberus, because ghosts plus dark type moves equals doom. Ha 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 ha! Cerberus claims your soul for his own. And your attempts to confuse him are futile. Futile indeed. Because I have a yellow flute. One of the best investments you can get in this game, I think. Of course she's going to use a potion, so we basically go back to the start of the fucking battle now, but there you go. It's one less full restore that she can use during the course of the battle. I'm not sure what the limit is. I think there is a limit of, say, I think it's two or three in the Elite Four battles before they stop using them. And they'll never use one on the same Pokemon twice. Ah, you may use Double Team, but Faint Attack always hits, bitch! Now die, get out of my presence, for you are unworthy to face the Hellhound. What you got next, bitch? Golbats! I think for that I will switch, actually, yes. Who too? Tassadar. Poison types don't like Psychic Mind Rape. And with good reason, no one likes Psychic Mind Rape. Prepare to suffer Psychic Mind Rape! Like this. Aha! Golbat not being particularly well known for its special defense. One hit or wonder. Get out of here, you unworthy fool! Tassadar is the first to break level 50. And now Arbok comes out. And for this, I'm gonna let Archeon have another go. I like to switch it up. I don't like to just dominate with one, even though I could do it. Tassadar could sweep this entire team alone. Losing a little bit of attack power there from its intimidate ability. But that will not stop me from quaking you to death. Prepare to feel my wrath. Wow. Now there's a well-timed critical hit, people! Not really sure why ground is super effective against poison, but it is. Next to Haunter! I'm gonna let Cerberus take the helm again. Switcheroo! Prepare to meet the wrath of the Hellhound once more, Agatha! The darkness will consume you! And your ghost types! Fools who would stand before me! Farewell, Haunter! You were no worthy opponent at all! And finally, another Gengar! I think it's level 60 though, we're really starting to push it on the level differences. 58, close enough. Go forth with- oh. Well, get hypnotized, that works too. Sure, why not? I guess take a little nap right in the middle of a really important battle. Good thing we got that poker flute, huh? I think I remember where I put it. There it is. Farewell, sleeping. Banishment to the sleep. It also has Sludge Bomb, which is kind of bad. Oh, that's really bad. Poison. Oh no. And this Gengar is faster than Cerberus, so that could actually cause some problems. Let's see. That might kill him. No! The Hellhound will never be denied! Never! The poison damage may well kill him, but at least he got a hit in before that happened. If only I could get him to go first on this next one, because he could take this down. If it goes for hypnosis and misses. No, never mind. <laughs> Alright then, you've tried my patience for the last time. Let's have Tolaris out, because he hasn't fought in this competition yet. Unleash your aerial ace. Don't fall asleep. You fool. That also means that even Tolaris, who I would consider probably the fastest team member I have, is slower than this Gengar. That is bad news. Wake, Tolaris! You must execute, and you will not execute anything in your dreams. Actually, you probably will, but not in the physical plane, dammit. 
Prepare your blades for fury. Prepare to slice his head off. Go for it. Oh, what the fuck is this nonsense? Okay, my patience is ending rather fast. You've got to stop being hit by hypnosis. I'm gonna get really sick of this poker flute music before the end of this. Derp, 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 derp. Come on, Talaris, make me proud of you again. Survive! Survive, you must! No! Come on! Gah. The pain! I must kill you! No! Defeated by a Gengar. Talaris, why? Alright, Archeon's turn. Make me proud of you, Archeon, as you always must. Use your new Ice Beam! Oh, for God's sake. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't think I am, but Hypnosis is accuracy 55. That's now four times in a fucking row. Someone's random number generator is fucking broken. Just putting that out there for ya. Tisk, tisk, Gengar. Come on then, do your worst. Ha! That won't work, I am no longer sleeping. And that won't work either. You fool, you can't stop me. Prepare to die, to Ice Beam. Some of you might question the wisdom of putting Ice Beam on Archeon instead of uh, Tyrannus. Normally I'd agree with you, but then I looked at their special attack stats and well, Archeon wins. Also, fuck you, potions! I will overcome you. Aha! Not so clever anymore, are you? I'm gonna take this opportunity to destroy you. You can't stop me now, Gengar. You are frozen, and your mind is subject to rapage. Ha ha ha! That's how you do it. Split the experience, but we beat Agatha. Eventually. Yes, Oak sees great potential in me ever since the beginning. Very well then. The final member of the Elite Four is awaiting us. Let us go and meet them. Ah, very intimidating corridor here. Here we are then. The final member of the Elite Four is Lance, and he is the Dragon Master. As he sells you just there. There are only, again, three dragons in the game, so they get a couple of fillers to give him as extra team members. And the first of those I have already prepared for. So Lance, let us do battle, and let me claim my title as champion! He leads with Gyarados, who we are all too familiar with. And I lead with Mysterio because electric moves rip Gyarados a new ass. Water flying, electric does not mix well. You're going to die right now. Get out of my fucking way, you bastard. All right, he's also got an Aerodactyl. I'm gonna stick with Mysterio for that because same deal, really. Aerodactyl is fast though. You would never expect it to have a flying rock, but it is. Terrifyingly so. We have to hope for the best on this one, really, because it could rip me apart. Come on, Thunderbolt, do me proud. Rip him in your ass. I keep saying that. Why do I keep saying that? Survive, Mysterio! Good boy! You're not a boy. Good man! You're a man now! Zap him with lightning! Space lightning? That really wasn't ideal, but he's gonna die anyway. Ah, <laughs> get out of here, you fool. You can't stand against us. Awesome. Level ups are always welcome. Next, Dragonite. This is what Ice Beam was invented for. Because Dragon only has two weaknesses, ice and itself. And Dragonite also has a flying subtype, which is also weak to ice. Now perish to Ice Beam. <laughs> no matter how good you are, you cannot overcome a four times weak ignis. And for some reason I am faster than you. 
The citrus berry's going to save you now. Freeze! Freeze and stop right there. You can't stand in my way. I'm going to defeat you. Gain a level up. Just like that. What's next? Dragonair! A slightly less evolved form of Dragonite. And he has two of these. They are also weak to Ice Beam. I will also unleash Ice Beam upon them. See, Archeon plus Ice Beam equals Lance Cries. He's also used up his, his best one, his final team member already, so I've got very little else to worry about. Freeze! Die! <laughs> what else you got? Another Dragonair, his final team member. Our final opponent before championship awaits us. Let's use Earthquake! I'm gonna rock your world. Rock you into death. That could hurt. Outrage, very powerful dragon move. <laughs> Even now, the poison point is a victorious endeavor. Go on, get out of here. Prepare yourself for the end of your life. Mega Horn will bring you down. We have won! We have defeated Lance. We have defeated the Elite Four. Ah, I am now the league champion! Wait, what? Oh no, someone else has beaten us here! Who could it be? Who in the world could have stopped our challenge? No! Damn you, Gary Oak! He beat us here! He is the champion! He is our final opponent! Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, the final battle with Gary.